Welcome back to the RootMap tutorial video series. In this video, we will discover how to facilitate sprint planning in Jira with Kanban using RootMap. And yes, this can work with your current projects as well. If you're working on Scrum template projects, rest assured that all your Jira backlog and project sprints will automatically synchronize with the Sprints Kanban feature. Each column is a sprint of a project, and your backlog issues are visualized as cards. You can create a new sprint directly. Just click the Create button and choose Sprint. Or simply click to add a new column. When creating a new sprint, you will have to choose which project you want to add this sprint to. Fill in the sprint's name, selecting the sprint duration, which can vary from two weeks to one month. You can also create a new duration to suit your needs. Next, choose the start date of the sprint, and the end date will be automatically updated according to the sprint duration. You can fill in the sprint goal to help all members understand what needs to be achieved. And that's it. Then, you can create swim lanes to arrange tasks across individual member, team, or even task priority. The rest is straightforward. You can drag Jira backlog issue from the issues box to the sprint column of a project accordingly. Or add multiple existing issues in bulk by clicking on the plus button inside a column. You can also create a new issue for the sprint backlog. What if your Jira project only uses Kanban but not the Scrum template? In that case, a warning notification will show up and let you know. So the question now is how to fix it. Let us show you. For Team Managed Kanban, you will have to go to your project settings, then locate the Features tab. In the settings, you should be able to find two buttons for toggling the backlog and sprints. Just turn them on, and now your project is ready. For Company Managed Kanban, it's a bit trickier. It requires you to make a new board using Scrum from your existing Kanban project. Here's how. Go to that project board, then click on the board name with the drop-down icon. From here, you can select Create Board and choose to create a Scrum board. In the next step, you will see three options to decide which data to use for this new board. We recommend choosing the second option. All you have to do is give this board a name and choose which projects are included in this board. And that's all. Don't forget to follow us for more guide and tips on RootMap for Jira.